and welcome back to the Mole Valley Maker channel. Uh, in this video, I hope it's going to be quite a quick video, I've got a couple of pieces of oak. Uh, I'm going to try and turn to large acorn light pools. Um, I was at a village market yesterday and uh, someone saw one of my acorn light pools and said, oh, can you make a big one of those? So I'm going to give it a go. Um, I'm not expecting anything too dramatic to happen, but I'll probably be using the skew chisel, so you never know. And I thought this might be a nice little quick video. A nice little quick video. So I'm going to uh, start by um, using the centre drill. Get a centre drill mark, and then I'll swap over. I will swap over to the uh, special um, planet drill bit three and six millimeters and then I'll mount them on the planet light drive light pool drive and we'll see how we get on drilling about 500 rpm gone about 15 millimeters deep on the long section there uh, for the uh, not to sit in blank round completely round uh, so um, thing to remember is that that's always the bottom side because that's where the uh, the knot hides so you're going to be somewhere around the uh, rule of thirds but I might just use my golden ratio calipers so let's make that the cap I said nothing spectacular was going to happen. Oopsie. Right, that's confidence blown. Let's go to the 
spindle gouge. Yeah, we've got a tiny little part of the scratch there, so we'll just take a little bit, another cut off that. Okay, so there we have a little acorn, well it's not a little, it's quite a big little acorn light pole. Um, after some deliberation we decided by looking at various things on my stool to make it about 35 millimeters. So I'm just a shade under 34. Um, Where's the camera? Sorry, I've got two cameras running, trying to make sure I get it in both. So just a shade under 34. Um, I will just do a little bit of sanding around each of these and then I will put some uh, hard wax oil on it. I think I will, uh, where well, you saw the catch, you saw the catch with the skew. Um, this is the first job I've done in the workshop, so not really warmed up but also skew catches happen it's a very difficult tool to use um, but recovered it with a spindle gouge so I am going to leave that one there I'm not going to film the second one and uh, I'd just like to say thanks very much for watching see you next time